Hey, what is up guys? It is Mitch or Legendary Road Games coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So today I'm just gonna be showing off my Infinite Warfare progress that I made in the beta and talking about what I like and what I do not like in Infinite Warfare and what I think is going to happen in the game throughout this year. So first of all I'll start off with my classes. So my main combat rig that I've been using has been the Warfighter with the claw and resupply. My first class is the Epic FHR40 variant, the Windfall, with quick draw, grip and extended mags. And then Dexterity, Hardline and Gung Ho. The second one was the NV4 Flatline which I actually got from a rare supply job the other day. And I run grip, quick draw and extended mags along with once again dexterity, hardline and gung ho. Next one is the KBR32 Horde, which is the legendary variant with extended mags, foregrip and quick draw, which seems to be my main class. And then I have dexterity, hardline and momentum and pinpoint. Then I have my KBS longbow with thermal sight, quick draw and suppressor and the Oni Unshakable secondary. Should probably change that. Then I have Dexterity, Hardline, Cold Blooded, and Marksman. Then my last class is the KBS Longbow Mirage, Elo Sight, Quick Draw, FMJ, Suppressor, the only secondary, Dexterity, Hardline, and Marksman. So those are my five classes and my top most used rig. I got to level 31 and I just in my last game unlocked the Volk gun so I might play a bit more and try and get a good gameplay with this Volk at level 1. But yeah, I've used all of these uh, assault rifles and I, in my personal opinion the KB, AR and the MV4 and the Type 2 are all amazing guns. I have not yet used the Volk though. In the SMG category, I absolutely love the RPR and the FHR-40. I didn't really use the LMGs in this game. As you can see, level 3, level 2. Not very good. Sniper Rifles, absolutely love the KBS Longbow. Uh, I used the EBR a little bit, and the Widowmaker I started using, but then went back to the KBS. I have not really used any of the shotguns that much. The only times I've used them have been in Gun Gun. And obviously nobody's really used classic weapons, so yeah. So yeah, I made it to level 31. But what I really wanted to talk about in this was what I reckon is going to happen with this game. And in my opinion, what they need to do to keep this game alive throughout the whole year is keep the supply drops keys. only earned through keys and have no form of currency that can be bought. And also, if they do add weapons into supply drops, like new weapons, they should also add them into the prototype lab, where you can build them for, say, the same as a legend, uh, an epic variant. So if they were to add, like, a HG-40, or MP-40, if you want to talk about the original, but if they were to add an MP-40 remake, make it that you could craft it, you could go into Submachine Gun, and underneath the RPR EVO, I would say MP40, and you could craft the base variant for 3,500, just like you would craft an epic variant of a normal gun. Because something like that would be nice, because then you'd save up to buy either the basic gun, or you could get it in a supply drop, which wouldn't be able to be bought. And that would keep the game alive, as well as giving us new weapons, and in a way that people wouldn't be so angry at Infinity Ward about. But that's probably not likely. Another thing that is going to be great in this game is having the different weapon teams, m weapon teams, <coughs> mission teams. I've got my JTF Wolverines level 30 and the Orion Initiative to level 18, and it's quite a cool Don't idea worry. that they have the day. mission team depot. That's how I unlocked the uh, FHR 40 windfall. But this is quite a good idea because it allows people to get epic variants, and all we have to do is grind the game. You don't have to open supply drops to get these, and I think that will really please a lot of people. And if the other two mission teams have 
some good weapons, then we could be in for a treat. And looking at this, I believe that the other two mission teams will probably have, I believe, the Vault will be belonging to one of the mission teams, I believe. And then maybe the, um, which one was it? Give me a second. I don't know all the guns yet. And then the, no. As I can say, oh, the Widowmaker. The Vault and the Widowmaker, possibly. Because those guns, we Whoa. haven't actually seen any variant for them unlocked yet. We can't go into sniper rifles and buy a Widowmaker variant. And we can't go into assault rifles and buy a Volk variant. Which leads me to believe that they may be in here. Because if you go back to this, there is no FHR-40 and there is no Karma-45 variants unlockable in this. But yeah, one of the main things in this game, and I'm going to go into a game and show you guys this. Sniping is really good. Like, with you, whatever site you're using, just quick scoping in general is really good and really fun. And that makes me really happy because in Black Ops 3, I absolutely hated how the snipers worked. The and even though I used, the, used them quite a lot <clears throat> in Black Ops 3, I still incredibly dislike how they work. And I think that it'll be really nice to have a game where snipers are actually at an advantage. I also quite like in Infinite Warfare that they have this loading and cutscene. So after this... They get you to prepare for battle. Yay! Let's drop! And if this loads... Yeah. Of course. That's a problem. But yeah, they have that starting and cutscene. And what you just saw there, that's one of the major problems with Infinite Warfare, is connections. You know, it's hard to find a lobby. If you do find a lobby, you're quite often going to get kicked out. And even if you don't get kicked out, you're going to have a really bad connection. I was doing really well in my last lobby. I was using this this class, doing really well, and then all of a sudden I just stopped doing well, and I'm just like, wait, what happened? And it's just like, oh, sorry, on a one bar connection, and I'm just lagging around the map. And that's really crap. One second you can be doing now. really good. Team deathmatch. Perfect connection. Really nice. You can be doing on a one bar. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is going to show this sniping for it. Because I do have a ELO site on the KBS Longbow Sniper video. And in that, you guys don't really get to see quick scoping as such. I kind of stuck back and just watched and hard scoped a little bit. And I don't think that that's like a good sniping. But the reason I put it up was just to show you guys that even with the Evo site, which is a site that I usually despise on sniper rifles, I did quite well. And that just shows you how good the sniper rifles are in this game. Like that, that crazy turn on. I would never have gone something like that in Black Ops 3. Like, I literally, the aim assist on sniper rifles is so helpful. So it feels, <clears throat> to me at least, it feels a lot like Black Ops 2 sniping. Yeah, but you run into a lot of snipers. So quite a common thing to do in this game. Which is good because I really love snipers. And even on console, where sniping is sometimes annoying. And I can't wait to see the crazy clips that people are going to be hitting. Like in Black Ops 3 it took a lot of skill to like get a quad feeder or a lot of luck. In this, it's kind of a lot easier, but at the same time, there's still a lot of skill to fight. But it's still just like, it's a lot easier to hit. It's a lot easier to kill somebody because this sniper rifle is sort of indefensively goes towards it because the aim assist. Oh my god. Oh, that was so... That was a triple kill lined up for me. But yeah, if you watch me play, and you think, yeah, like, this is... I'm pretty just... I'm not the best sniper in the world. I'm a sniper for fun. I don't snipe for incredible gameplays. I snipe for fun because I enjoy sniping. And I 
do it often, and I'm improving, but I'm not gonna claim that I'm good, I guess. And most of the time, stuff like that will happen, and I will get out of A great thing in Infinite Warfare, variants are not overpowered. Variants, as you will find out, but if you have not played the game, and you are gonna play the whole game as well. Variants are basically just there, uh, and they don't affect the game quite that much. <coughs> as you saw there, I got out of the sniper and I two people in the and I was using it. I got out and I'm using a like, way better variant than Like the variants. You get a super variant. Doesn't mean you automatically have this one. One of the worst things about this, though, is the system. And these things need to be nerfed. You earn them pretty quick, especially if somebody has the uh, perk that allows you to use that specialist cooldown. Oh, wow, some of the back now. Um, especially if well, someone on your team is using that perk, you will earn the specialist so fast and so good for the speed at which you earn them. And they stay around for so long. I was in a game the other day and I got killed by one guy and he was using a specialist and I'm just like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Then I spawn in and he kills me again. And I spawn in and he kills me again. Three times, the same guy with the specialist. All three kills for the specialist. Every time I spawned in, he kills me. It's incredible how long they want to do that and how fast they are. I really just think the Infinity Ward needs to tone them down a bit. But like, I mean, apart from that, they're really good and they're quite helpful. And they make another, they make a new layer of the gameplay. It's just like Black Ops 3. Specialists are still quite new, and they're still quite interesting to use and interesting to get used to. And just the variety, and the probably adds, and in my opinion, definitely adds a lot of replay value to the game. And I think this game will be a game where a lot of people will grind it and say you be great because of specialists and all the different you can do with the customization. A lot of people have talked about this, but the camos in this game, it's kind of you like them or you don't like them. There's no like real in the game at the moment. It seems people I like really like them or really dislike them. And I think that's like kind of a good thing but kind of a bad thing. If you like the camos, then it's good for you. But if you don't like the camos, then it's more than likely that Infinity Ward are going to be changing the camos from the beta. At the moment, they really remind me, and I was talking about it in the of the Black Ops 3 camos. And if you look at the stud camo on guns, it really does remind me a lot of the Black Ops 2 diamond. But if, and if you look at the ones that you unlock them throughout the multiplayer, like you don't really get that great. Oh, camo. Like, this is the Mars camo. I don't remember the exact challenge you have to do. It's probably something along the lines of one shot, one kill. Like, it's a good camo, but it's nothing compared to the ones that you earn from, from leveling up your mission team or ones you get from supply drops. And that's good because. To be honest, the lead formation is going to be they don't want to be using the and bolt there, unless it's something that's going to be done. To be honest, most people just try to use it. But yeah, that was a sniping gameplay for you guys, and a commentary at the same time. So, I only went 16 of 15, which isn't that great, but I mean... I was talking at the same time as the item to do concentration when I'm talking, and I missed a few shots that I really shouldn't have missed. But yeah, I think that should about cover it for my thoughts on Open Warfare. I think that the game will last the whole year, and I think that if it doesn't, then people are still going to be playing Modern Warfare Remastered by the end of it. And if you ever want to stop playing Open Warfare and you're getting a bit bored of it, you can swap over to Modern Warfare Remastered. And then come back and break, so no harm done. We are open for business. But yeah, I think that should be it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Mitch or Legendary Rogans. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.